Hello, I'm Edward Tart, a math teacher, with a math challenge for you. This challenge, like one of my earlier math challenges, is based on Pascal's triangle, a triangular array of numbers, which I will now briefly go over with you in the same way that I did in the previous video. I put a 1 at the top, and at each of the positions shown here below that one, I will put the number of ways of getting to that position following these slanted lines down from the top. For example, there's only one way of getting to this one, and that's to veer to the left every step of the way from the top down to there. to take uh, a location at the extreme right, this one for example, there's only one way to get here and that's to veer to the right every step of the way from here on down. In fact I realize that I must put ones all the way down the left hand side as well as all the way down the right hand side. As for the interior numbers, there are two ways to get to this location, left then right, or right then left. Or to put it another way, uh, the two gateways to this location are these two, the two above it. And since there's one way to get here and one way to get here, there must be two ways to get here. It follows then, concerning this location, that since there is one way to get there and two ways to get there, there are three ways to get here. So what I'm doing is adding the two numbers above to get the new number. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 1 is 4. 1 plus 4 is 5, 4 plus 6 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, 4 plus 1 is 5. And so we have what I now call the top, row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, and row 5 of Pascal's triangle, and this process continues downward indefinitely. Now, leading up to the challenge, a challenge which, by the way, has prizes available for correct solutions. I'm going to give you a warm-up question, and then I'll give you the challenge. The warm-up question and the challenge concern a club with a given number of members and they want to form a committee of some of those members. Here's the warm-up question. Suppose we have a club of five members and they want to form a committee of two members. How many ways can they do it? Well, we could actually make a list. Suppose that the club has members whom we call A, B, C, D, and E, five members. They could have members A and B on the committee, or A and C, and so on. You could list all possible formations of the committee. And then you can count how many, are in the, how many possible committees are in that list. The answer is a number in Pascal's triangle. Find that number notice exactly where it is located and try to answer this question. Why is that answer in Pascal's triangle at that exact location? That's the warm-up. Now the challenge. A question like it but with bigger numbers so that it will not be feasible to make a list. Suppose it's a club of 10 members, 
and they want to form a committee of four members. How many ways can they do it? The correct answer is a number somewhere in Pascal's triangle. It's further down than what you see here. Find the correct location in Pascal's triangle, determine what that number is, and explain why that answer is in Pascal's triangle at that exact location. If you can do this, I would like to know about it. But don't send me your answer by making a comment in this comment section of the video. Instead, go to my profile page, click on send message, and message me your answer. If I am satisfied with your answer on the first try, you will be eligible for a prize if you want it. I will now describe the prize. I play the piano, as you can tell from my music videos, and I have piano archives. I will go to my piano archives, make a selection, a varied selection of pieces that I have played and recorded in the past, burn them onto a CD, and mail the CD to you. If you want the prize, you will need to include your name and mailing address. If you need help in deciding whether you want the prize, you can go to my profile page, browse the Piano Videos playlist on that page, and watch one or more of my piano videos. In any event, I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that if you work on the challenge, it will give you mental stimulation and pleasure. Thank you for watching this video.